What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sams and this is That Comic Talk. Who had the best supervillain entrance in a comic book movie? Well, here at That Comic Show, we're actually going to take a look at who had the better entrance. And it's only going to come down to two entries. We're going to look at Dark Knight joker's entry the very first scene in the movie where we see joker and we're also going to look at thanos thanos this is actually his third appearance in an mcu movie but this is our first time seeing who this villain is so without further ado let's look at dark knight so as we see here we see the joker in the joker mask which is very 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 reminiscent to some of the old school clown type of images now this is a robbery that's going on these are the henchmen of the joker the joker actually got these henchmen to do this job while he himself was in the job as well so we see these guys heading over to the bank let's listen in every guy gets a share five shares is plenty six shares don't forget the guy who planned the job. He thinks he can sit it out and still take a slice. I know why they call him the Joker. So why do they call him the Joker? I heard he wears makeup. Makeup? Yeah, to scare people. You know, war paint. So these guys are literally talking about Joker. They're talking about him, his legendary status. This was so awesome because we actually see that the Joker has a status in Gotham. We don't see the beginnings of Joker. We don't see his origins or anything like that. We see him already established. We see him already doing certain crimes in Gotham. Here comes the silent alarm. Now, we could think about all the other villains that we see in the DC universe, but none of them had the best, in our opinion, the best entry as a villain, the beginning of a villain. We don't see any of the characters really develop like we see it here. And we see all this taking place as the very first scene. We don't see Batman. We don't see Gordon. We don't see any of those characters. We see Joker because he deserves to have this opening scene of his character. Obviously, we don't want you doing anything with your hands other than holding on to dear life. An interesting thing. We actually see the same thing in the next movie, which is Dark Knight Rises, where we see Bane have his opening scene. But Bane's opening scene wasn't like this scene right here. We even see the crown prince of crime hiding and cowering and being such a, a weasel. But at the same time, he has everything under control. You have any idea who you're stealing from? You and your friends are dead! He's out, right? Again, he is literally within the midst of everything that's happening right here. This is what makes Joker such an incredible character piece, such an incredible villain. His motivation is not like any other villain. His motivation is just simply to do crazy stuff and to be that villain, to be that top of the line villain. It's, it's awesome to see how they created this character. I, I am of the opinion that this is the best Joker iteration to film. Um, no disrespect to the other two entries, or well, the other three entries, but I think this is the spirit of the Joker. Heath Ledger captured the spirit of Joker. I'm betting the Joker told you to kill me as soon as we loaded the cash. <sighs> no, 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 no. I killed a bus driver. Bus driver? What bus driver? School's out. Time to go. The guy's not getting up, is he? What's so interesting as well is that Joker manipulated his henchmen to kill themselves in the process of doing this job. So that way he didn't have to split the money between different factors or factions. He didn't have to do any of those things. He simply is demonic and weird. And this is the actual scene this is the moment that we see who joker truly is check it out respect look at you what do you believe in huh what do you believe in i believe 
whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. You put a bomb in his mouth, and the bomb and the string is connected to him. What do you do in that situation? He had to be losing his mind, crapping his pants, and out of everything. Look at that. That's who Joker is. Now, in the opening scene of Infinity War, we see our villain, the villain of the MCU at the time, which was Thanos. We see him approaching the Asgardian ship, and we see his man, Ebony Maw, basically telling the people of Asgard, this is a blessing, a privilege for them. You have had the privilege of being saved by the great Titan. You may think this is suffering. No. What's so interesting about Thanos is that Thanos is not even a real person. He's a CGI mocap character played by Josh Brolin. And the way that Josh Brolin was able to bring this larger than life character to life, it, it's, it's amazing to see. And the presence that Thanos gives is so incredible. We see the original villain of Loki from Avengers, and then he gazes upon the actual villain. And he says, I know what it's like to lose. Feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail nonetheless. Lightning turns the legs to jelly. If I ask you to what end? Carrying Thor in the handbag. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. That's so interesting. Thanos appearing. He is talking directly to us, the fans, to say, yeah, you've been waiting for me for a long time. You've heard about me. You've seen glimpses of me, but now you actually see me. All of me. Drinking in. And look, he's testing the resolve of Loki. Loki thought that he wouldn't be tested. And look how he's looking directly at Loki. He could have killed Thor right there. Could have smushed his head. So as you can see, those two characters are probably two of the greatest comic book villains ever put to screen. Their entrance, their intro to these movies has been incredible. Who's the best? Comment below. Let us know what you think. What's your thoughts? We're going to try to do more of these type of videos if we get enough people to check it out. So don't forget to like, share, and definitely subscribe. This is your boy, Sam's. This is Sam's out.